This is sweet. Check this out right here. Check this out. So I finally got this from GM and uh, this is a little present that you get when you buy a new C8 Corvette. Now, I don't know if they're gonna do this for, oh, by the way, good morning, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, but I don't know if they're going to do this for every person who buys a Corvette. I would find that pretty hard to believe. So I think it might just be if you special order one or maybe there's an option you pick um, or if you get like a brand, like the first year for them. Something like that. This is cool. Let me get a knife. Okay, we got that. Um, now let's see how we open this. This is really, really cool so far. Now, you know, Ferrari does this, Porsche, Lamborghini, we have one for the Earth, but uh, never Corvette. And, you know, I don't blame them because Corvette is not like those brands. You know, they make tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of Corvettes. So they, it's not cost effective for them to be making these little model cars cost quite a bit of money because they're actually pretty detailed. Well, thank you card here. Thank you and welcome to the Corvette family. Happy to be here. Been here for a long time actually, but thank you. Uh, the first ever production mid-engine Corvette is the sum of each generation before it, but stands alone as the new standard of performance. As a Stingray owner, we hope you treasure the enclosed gift from the entire Corvette team. Okay, let's get on with this. So the C8 logo in gloss black on the top of the box. Stingray on the side there. And a little, little, ooh, a nice little cloth tab. Oh my God. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, the Corvette outline there on the side. Stingray, it's got your VIN on it. VIN number 14. Now this is neat right here. That's really cool. Very heavy. That's cool. That's freaking awesome, guys. So check it out. My own little model Corvette. Now I thought it was going to be like the Urus one, which I'll get out here in a second. So the Urus is a scale model, even down to like the stitching color and everything for your car. You can see you know, it matches that one perfectly. Brake caliper color, everything in there. Um, so that's a little bit more detailed. When I heard they were shipping out models of cars, I thought of that. And that's why I said like, there's no way, I was thinking there's no way they could afford to do this for everyone, but this I could see. So I could see every person getting this. It's a cool little plaque. You can put it on the wall, put it on your desk or a shelf and it's got your plaque there. And it's really just a little outline of the car, like a little shell mold of it in the color that your car is. So still very cool and something I will keep for maybe forever. One more thing I didn't notice before, it's magnetic. You can take the car off. That's pretty neat. You can take the car off and it's magnet. Look at that, look at that. That's cool. Okay, so moving on from the fun toy car stuff, we, we do have some actual business we have to get down to today and that is we have to take the Viper to Whitmoyer and this could be one of, if not the final drive that you see me do in this car. Uh, so we're taking it back to Whitmoyer. It's going to get an oil change and just looked over to make sure everything's okay for the giveaway winner. Because when you see this, there will only be a couple of hours left to enter. Now there is a countdown timer on the website. When you go to InShaneDesigns.com, you'll see a timer right there for you. So if you're wondering like, is it over? Is it not over? It will show you there on the site. Um, so if you haven't entered yet, get a last minute entry. Now the guy who won the Hellcat, he says he waited until the last 24 hours to enter. So maybe it's lucky, I don't know. But uh, get an entry and you can win this car. But because the giveaway is over, it's time for me to take the car, make sure it's ready for one of you guys, and that'll be the end of it. She'll also get a full detail because she's a little dirty right now, but thank you guys for the awesome love on the Viper content. As you know, it takes about 10 days from the time the giveaway ends until we call you, so keep an eye out on Instagram and on the YouTube videos. I'll be giving updates and all that good stuff, but yeah, about 10 days from now, we'll be calling one of you to tell you that's your new car. And that for me is always the most fun part for sure. A little bit bittersweet, you know, it's not sad because one of you guys gets the car and I get to move on to something else and we're gonna have a great time. But I do, I really did like the Viper more than I thought I would. And I think it's a, a really cool, iconic car. You can't argue with that. Woo! <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, that, that 
is one of, one of the things I'll miss for sure, but you'll love it. You really will. Whoever wins this, you're going to absolutely love it. I can guarantee you that. Best part of the Viper for me is that it's just so unique and different. Like, there is no other car like a Viper. But like a Huracan and a 570S and like a 458, they're all kind of similar. Um, you know, a lot of there are a lot of vehicles you can describe by using another vehicle. The Viper really pretty much is like its own thing. With that, we're here. You will see the Viper. You'll see it again, you know, it's chains and whatnot, but it's kind of like, this is the beginning of the end of the road for the Viper. It was fun. Okay, Viper is dropped off, and now for the high country, we're dropping this one off, getting rid of vehicles left and right. And uh, if you want to see what's happening to the Toyota, check out the family channel, Mike and Gina. Subscribe, almost at 50,000 subscribers. But uh, yes, the high country is about to get dropped off for the wrap. Climbing up in here. This truck is going to look awesome. Now, it looks really good already. Fire picks on the gram last night and uh, potentially today. It looks incredible, but I think the wrap is going to look even better and make this truck look even more special and eye-catching. All right, and uh, check out Shane's new 2500 HD. That's right, Shane is finally on Team Duramax and it looks great. I'm really happy for him. Um, now he said he wanted to make his truck like this, but it's just not practical because he does tow the boat. But um, I think we'll get him hooked up with a lift kit of some kind. Really nice truck. Not a high country, uh, but not quite as like base model as mine. So it's kind of like in between my white truck and the high country. It's kind of like somewhere in the middle. There he is. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> this thing's so hot. And you disappeared. Dude, absolute animal, bro. First of all, congr I, I know I've talked to you on the phone, but congrats on video. Thanks, Truck looks brother. great, dude. Thanks, it looks fantastic. I know. I, I think I need to get this lift on it now. Something. <laughs> Something. Something a little more practical. I don't know if this truck will fit in the shop. That's the only thing that, like, might be a snag. This thing's a beast. Dude, it's pretty Those massive. The photos look so I sick. know, they looked really, I, I just talked about them. Like, I would love to leave it, like, as it is, it looks awesome. Yeah. But, we're gonna, you know that, can. that wrap is gonna be incredible. Yeah. The wrap is gonna look good. We gotta wrap it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You like them? They're like 50 caliber bullets. Yeah, dude. That's some heat. So, you like it so far? Absolutely, man. It's like driving a oh, dream. Yes. No offense towards the Hummer. Look, I swear to God, I love that Hummer. Uh -huh. It was awesome, but I felt bad every time I towed the boat with it. Like I felt like it was just gonna blow up. Right. And that was I, that was for a different time in your life. Yeah, exactly. I felt like, look, it was better to let it go, so it can live out the rest of its life instead of me destroying. <laughs> yeah. Cause it was even with that the boat's not that heavy but it was squatting pretty good when you had the yeah, boat on there yeah. it's just like going up over mountains and stuff it just felt like Whoa. and this truck will tow it like it's not even yeah, there it won't even not there. even there yeah so i got that remember how they they advertise that uh invisible whatever you're towing like the invisible yeah thing? yeah so i'm getting that camera okay right so i want to test it out on the heck oh, yeah that's sick Oh, I'm happy for you, buddy. You're gonna love it. It's like in between our two trucks. It's not his base model yeah. as my truck, but it's not the high country. Always forget, this is actually a 3500. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was, I was like, <laughs> it's big. She a big girl. Yeah, I love it. Do yeah, you think it'll? Fits good too. I know. I love those bumpers. Yeah. Do you think what? Do you think it'll fit in the shop? Oh, heck the back yeah, door. The back. Okay. Not, not, here. not the front door. <laughs> we could probably climb that door. <laughs> yeah, we could. Yeah, we could probably drive right up the the I bay door. Man, that'd be close. You know, four wheel, four wheel drive. If you air down, you might be able to walk Dude, up I that. Think it's a great. It's not should, very tall. We should try it. I'm down. Yeah. If that thing climbs, it's gonna be epic. This is straight up. It's wild in here. Yeah. It's wild. Hang on. The team is working. Those are all shirts for you guys. All shirts we got in. I like that shirt. That's cool. All boxes of shirts right now. We got the save the sticks. Save the stick shirt, big seller coming up, all kinds of different ones. We got Viper shirts. Everything you see here is on the website and everything on the website counts for you to win the Viper. So check out InShaneDesigns.com. Every five bucks you spend is an entry. Last couple of hours to enter to win the Viper. Don't miss out. Okay, now we're back from dropping off the high country and we have the Corvettes here in the garage. They are quite the pair, 2010 ZR1. 
2019 ZR1, pretty different, I have to say. You know, the C6 ZR1, very much like the old school Corvette, you know, not a whole lot different than a base C6, just kind of a lot more power and wider. And then for the 19, they really did a lot more, a totally different front bumper with a, a you know, a completely different design, a crazy hood with a giant hole in it. Like this is the supercharger cover on the engine and the rest of it is a giant hole. Of course, the massive wing, which a lot of old school, uh, old school Corvette guys don't like, but I love it, the big wang on there. It's pretty cool to see the evolution. Only nine years apart, these two. Kind of looks like a lot more to me when I look at them, but only nine years. And since we're talking about Corvettes, let's talk about the reason why I'm sure many of you clicked on the upload, and that is my C8. Well, we're making progress. And not only uh, we're not only making progress, but we're pretty much done, and the car should be coming home within, I would say, 10 to 15 days. It has taken a long time, don't get me wrong, but I think... A lot of people maybe didn't know exactly what we were going for with this build and why it's taking so long. So LMR could have just bolted on the turbos and you know fired it up and drove around the parking lot and we could have made a video and that would have been cool. But we're actually aiming here for a production kit on my car. And they've been developing another kit on their other car that they're actually selling today. So they're kind of, you know, we kind of have everything squared away. And, you know, we wanted something that was an actual real product, not just something you bolt on. So the idea is that when I get my C8 back, if you guys want this twin turbo kit, if anybody out there with a C8 wants it, ideally within a pretty short amount of time, you can order one yourself. And it's gonna be a fully complete kit, not just kind of like bolted on and thrown together. And that's cool for making videos and that's cool for like being the first out there. But if you notice, a lot of other cars that were out there, we haven't seen anything from them. You know, they show, oh, car runs, twin turbos are on, whatever, now it just disappears. Um, so what we're aiming for here is a full production car and kit ready to rock and roll. You guys know, like, my car doesn't mess around. It shows up every day to run and it has to work right. It has to make that 1000 horsepower every day, whether I'm driving to the grocery store or racing a thousand horsepower Mustang, whatever it is, this car works. LMR is no joke. I've been on YouTube for gone on six years and I've had a lot of Corvettes. They've always been a big part of my channel. And I've had a lot of different Corvettes built by other shops and I was never fully happy until I went to LMR. And that's why, you know, I ship my cars all the way to Texas. I live in PA, but the results speak for themselves. You don't have to take my word for it. That's the good thing. You can see on video all the time, this car works. It's the best daily driver I could ever want. And I do dr I drive it every day. Everything works, air conditioning, air conditioned seats, all that stuff. But it also makes a boatload of power and I race everybody, you know, and it, it runs consistent. Uh, 4.4, 4.5-ish, 60 to 130 times. Again, no matter what the, the temperature is, and it's just, it's a really great, well put together machine. This one will also be going to LMR. So I choose LMR, they're my shop, they're my go-to. I love the guys down there, and I have had no problems. I mean, why would I send my car anywhere? Why would you send your car anywhere else? I know, it's been tough. It's been tough for me as well. Don't believe that like I'm just sitting here and I don't care about my C8. No, I want it back. You know, I've wanted it back. I miss it dearly and I want to make the content with it. I'm making payments on a car that I can't make content with, but the, the wait, I promise you, will be worth it. And today we have real results. We have the first fire up of the twin turbo C8 and it sounds incredible guys take a listen
There you go. So it's not only like, oh, we fired it up and we revved it a little bit, like it's red line and everything's gone well. So fingers crossed, we have no hiccups. The car should be done really, like it's essentially done. They're just, they're doing a couple little like last minute things, but the car is done. As you can see, it runs, it drives, it revs, you can redline it. Yes, it did take some time, but look at the quality of the work. Look at the quality of the parts. It's beautiful to look at. It's out there for you to see, and it's sweet to actually see everything working. Um, so it sounds great, drives great, looks great, and that's why LMR is the real deal. So to me, it was 1000% worth the wait, and I appreciate you guys sticking with us here, and that's the finished product. It's no, no, freaking joke. You're not gonna be getting no crap from us. Like, oh, we'll drive it and I'm just gonna putt around a parking lot. Like, no, the car's gonna work. So again, I appreciate your patience, but it's gonna be worth it. I promise you that. And the C8 should be back on the channel really, really soon. How good does that sound? How freaking good does it sound? So very soon on the channel, we'll have C7, C6, and C8. I don't know where I'm gonna park all this stuff. And I still wanna get that exotic. So I'm right back to where I was, got too many cars, but you know what, we'll figure it out. The Urse, I can't move her car. That's just, I can't do that. So I'll have to maybe finally build another garage. Not sure yet, but it should be fun. C8 will be back on the channel soon, guys. Thank you one last time for your patience and one last time, don't forget to enter to win my Viper. If you enjoyed this upload, give it a big old thumbs up. Take care and have a great night, guys.